byproduct of the aluminium waste industry out of our water supply, sodium fluoride we're talking yeah. about, and we're trying to get that out. And also, <coughs> they're doing their best to try and stop the incremental closing down of acute medical services in our live hospital. So, <coughs> I'm hoping that it could be Sinn Féin, but there is another option. That other option is Direct Democracy Ireland, mm. directdemocracy.org. Mm. That's something that we all need to look at. Uh, because again, very much about decentralisation of power, putting the power back into the hands of the people. Mm. Well, funny you should talk about Sinn Féin. We actually talked about this on the show. Myself and Steve are not political, and I've actually never voted because most of my life, you know, well, 17 years of my life, I lived in London. Um, so this would be my first time voting in Ireland. And um, like a lot of people were going, oh well, the politicians and the parties and everything else. But it was a friend of mine who was a Sinn Féin um, electorate. And he told me three things about Sinn Féin that I didn't know about. Now, like you, I don't agree with all certain you know, <coughs> policies of, 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 of Sinn Féin. But the three things that he said to me was this. One, Sinn Féin was the only party who voted no for Lisbon. All the rest voted yes. Two, Sinn Féin TDs are not paid the full TD salary. They're paid in an industrial wage, like 35, 40,000, whatever, and the rest of the money goes into the party. Um, number three, Sinn Féin is the only party that has their accounts uh, on the website, transparency. I have checked Fine Gael, Fine Fáil and Labour, and there's no transparency with these parties. Very interesting. Now, as I say, I don't agree with all the policies of Sinn Féin, but apparently they are in the North and they're doing a great job. Now, they can't please everybody, and that's understandable. Yeah. Um, but, um, and I said to a friend of mine, I said, why isn't this in the media? And he said, well, the media, media bias anyway, they don't want Sinn Féin to get in. Yeah. You know, so they're not getting the, yeah, the coverage. Read, uh, Martin McGuinness was attacked by Ryan Tuberty, basically. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And now uh, there was... Um, Pat uh, Kenny had uh, a couple of politicians on. One of them was a chap from Sinn Féin, I forget his name. And he was the only politician that was saying burn the bondholders. Yeah. He was made to speak in common sense. Yeah. And all the others were coming up with excuses why they shouldn't. And he was the one that was saying burn the bondholders. They took a gamble, they lost. That's it. That's the way it works. Mm. So I'm not uh, advocating or at saying to people vote Sinn Féin. They have to come up with their own opinion and why they should if they want to yeah. but there's three important things that people should know about Sinn Féin yeah. and I think you know if we have four parties if we spoil the vote it's going to go to Fianna Fáil mm. if we don't vote it's going to go to Fianna Fáil so if we're going to use your vote I mean that's why our ancestors our forefathers died to mm. give us the vote so use the vote and at least you know, it can't be as bad as Fianna Fáil. Maybe one problem, though. Let me ask you a question. Okay. Do you believe that Ireland voted yes to the Lisbon Treaty, the second one? No, I uh, know. I, I, I believe, I mean, we had democracy. The first vote was democracy. We voted no. Yeah. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Yeah. The second time, it's, it was manipulated. I mean, there's video footage of people seeing boxes coming in and out yeah. um, off the polls, especially down in Cork. There's YouTube, there's a guy standing there, and people getting kicked out of the, the, the polling yeah. centres. So, um, and the ballot boxes were delivered 48 hours in <coughs> advance, which is illegal. Exactly. Um, I actually went down to the local police station, um, like a few people did, and put in a letter that was sent out for everybody to give in to the police saying that they... We, uh, we want the, the government to be held responsible for what went on for the action. Um, I don't forget the detail in the, in the letter, but it was basically that we disagreed with it. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> that's when I knew we didn't have democracy in the country. Yeah. When we voted and they said, oh, no, 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 you're a bit stupid in that one, we're going to ask you again. Now, if we did have democracy, then we do the best of three. But that didn't happen. As soon as we got the yes vote, that was it. Yeah. So, um, and I just, I can't believe well, what's going on. Now, I was on the march with you. We did the march, the 100,000 march, yeah. which is fantastic. Did we get anywhere with that march? Did we make a dent? Do you feel that we made a dent? <coughs> well, <coughs> you see, protest marches really are 
a way for the population to vent their frustration. Mm -hmm. it, it does not necessarily mean that it's going to uh, get changed. But look what the senior citizens were able to achieve with the, with the, the medical cards. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I mean, it can work, but as Scott Tips was saying, it takes intense and constant pressure mm -hmm. uh, to be able to get change. And we're going to have to do that in relation to getting fluoride out of our water supply. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to do that. We're all going to have to come together. Mm. Um, we have a lot of problems. There are a lot of people in this country that are too uh, distracted with, well, first of all, with their professional and domestic lives, which is very understandable, but also with the mindless entertainment that is in our television sets, mm. you know. Uh, I enjoyed maybe watching the odd X Factor for a bit of crack, maybe once every, mm. well, you know, one, one, one show, an episode or something, but. Um, but people are obsessed with that type of thing and soaps and Carnation mm. Street. It's not the real world. It is not the real world. And they're not fully aware that we in this country are losing everything that our ancestors mm. fought and died for. Uh, we can no longer call ourselves a sovereign nation. And I warned the Irish people that this is coming. I warned them that that was the agenda, the erosion mm. of our national sovereignty. It's a magician's um, trick. It's sleight of hand. Yeah. You know, dumb us down, that square box in the corner. Yeah. And um, keep us good, busy, keep us focused on that. But it's amazing that the amount of people I've spoken to, and you probably have come across as well, that as soon as they wake up and see what's going on and the curtain's pulled across, it's like a big secret. Yeah. Somebody's just told you a secret and you want to tell everybody. Yeah. They stop watching telly. Yes. yes. They, there's no interest in sport. They yeah. stop watching TV and their mind starts working. Yeah, yeah. They start looking at things yeah. you know, and studying and researching, which is phenomenal. Yeah. Um, and it's trying to get right people up to that and get them to that stage, I think. That's, that's what we need to do. Um, what kind of pressure can we put on? What do you think we can do? Uh, on, on, on governments? Or, or yeah, on governments. I mean, on a, see, one of the things I come across is a chap in America called Lindsay Williams. He's a pastor. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You know, yeah, I know of him. And, and I watched his program, and he said, what, they, what they'll do is have us that the food's going to be very expensive, which I believe is happening, I think the country's Algeria, I'm not too sure, where salt and sugar and all this, all the basic food groups have gone up in price and they're rioting on the streets. And Lindsay Williams said that you'll be so busy surviving, you won't bother rebelling. Mm. And I, I, you can see that. You're, yeah. you're struggling to pay the bills. Yeah. You know, so from a day, on, on, on the ground, from a day-to-day -day point of view, what would you say to people, you know, if they want to get active, if they want to do something? Very important at this stage, that, that, that in, um, at this moment in time that we all become the change that we want to see in the world, we have to, every one of us has to find it within ourselves. As I've done, I'm using the platform that I have, that I was uh, given. Uh, to try and get this information out to people. I believe that we have to do all in our power mm. to, do, to do this and come together. And once people take that, uh, uh, engage, you know, take that initiative, mm. we will move mountains once we come together. Mm. Um, and uh, we, we need to reverse, obviously, the situation that our government has got into. We need to get out of the EU, mm. back into the Euro European economic area, mm. where we can do trade, of course. It's not going to drastically affect us. In fact, it's going to benefit us greatly. Because mm. uh, we have everything in this country to support ourselves, if we want. Mm. Uh, even though the farmer, far, our farming industry has been decimated and the, the um, fishing, fishing industry as well. Well, we, we can turn this around. It's going to take a while, but it will happen. But we need to withdraw, get out of the clutches of the EU. And these people who are sickeningly obsessed with control and domination over mm -hmm. everything, over the whole planet. Um, and, you know, it's, we've got the, the Icelandic model to follow. Uh, you know, it will solve an, an awful lot of problems there. Mm. And... Um, uh, and I believe we will do it, but it, it, it's, uh, there's something else happening, and I, I've, I've listened to Ian's, Ian Crane's lecture, and it's very interesting, he says that as we approach 2012, that, uh, well, first of all, NASA have concerned that it confirmed that it's going to be unprecedented solar flares and sunspot activity. And from his research, from with the, with the tribes of, mm. uh, uh, of South America, mm. and the Andes, the um, Quero, mm. 
they believe that this intense sunspot activity is going to trigger what we refer to as junk DNA mm. and come into a new realization of understanding, of uh, empathy, of compassion for each other. Uh, Homo luminous, mm. uh, it's kind of it's what they call it. It's, it's, it's fantastic. If that happened, it would be absolutely fantastic. Mm. But we forget how amazing we are anyway. Yeah. yeah. As human beings, we, you know, we're, we're walking miracles. Well, the knowledge has been taken away from us. Yes. And, uh, Hoarded by these, by these characters. Exactly. And uh, reliant on the nanny state, which is what they want. They yeah. want us to be reliant on them. Yeah. They, we don't uh, believe how powerful we, powerful we are in able to heal ourselves. Yes. And, yeah. you know, as, as I always say, and I've said it before on, a, on the radio show, we are spiritual beings experiencing life through physical form. End yeah. of. No color, creed, religion, whatever. Yeah. We're energy. Yeah. And vibrating on a frequency, and that's what we are. Yes. This, Ian is not the first person to talk about this. David also talked about this DNA. Yeah. And this, um, this ascension that will take place. Um, one of the things I said to Ian was, you have people who are spiritually aware, um, and self-aware. And maybe they're the people that they're talking about. Maybe this is what well. the people who are spiritually aware and separate aware will be the people who might ascend. Whatever that ascension may involve, I don't know. Um, but as he, as, as he said, maybe in the last f 15 seconds of whatever's going to happen, people will become aware and then they'll ascend. But we, we won't know till we get there. I think that's, that's a safe bet. But we do know that this photon belt has been coming into where. Uh, 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 the planet has been coming in for the last 13 years, 10, 13 years and um, I know David has done scientific experiments with frogs and salamander and have managed to merge DNA purely by using the same wave technology that we're talking about today, yes, yeah. um, which is fascinating. So um, yes. for the next two years I think we're going to see um, massive changes up and down. Mm. Um, as to where it's going to go I don't know but I'll just say that um, um, hopefully 2012 or going up to 2012 is going to be an enlightenment for everybody. It's like, <coughs> it's like we are going through, uh, like we're, we're in the birth canal and we're, we're just, we're, we're, uh, it's like the universe is giving birth to the new earth and we've got to go through pain. Exactly. A lot of people are going through yeah. pain, so a lot of people are going through horrendous trauma. Mm. Uh, I do believe that we can come out of this into a new age, mm. it's going to be uh, golden age. Mm -hmm. We're going to come out of this. So we're in the dark ages now. Yeah. Right? There's no doubt about it. Well, we've, we've had 10,000 years of darkness. Yeah. And this is the best time in life to be alive. Yes. To be yeah. around for this transition. Yeah. And I do believe that is, it is the best time for us to be yeah. around. Yeah. As to what's going to happen, <coughs> um, I spoke to Ian about you know, weather conditions and everything else. I just, gonna, I just think we're going to have to just wait and see. Yeah. But uh, Jim, Thank you very much for the Thank interview. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure. Much appreciated. Thank you very much. Okay.